Hey everyone, it's Barnum from Hancocked again. This is, will be my reaction and final thoughts on the pay-per-view Royal Rumble. It was very lackluster, in my opinion, the Royal Rumble match. Um, it, there wasn't a lot of uh, surprises in it. I mean, the only real surprise that we got was Ty Dillinger at number 10. Unless you want to count Mark Henry, you know, there weren't any real surprises in the match. There weren't any returns, there weren't any, you know old guys that came in the big three that were advertised for this match Brock Lesnar, Goldberg, and The Undertaker had maybe a collective five five, six seven minutes in the whole match and that was very disappointing, especially since they were all heavily advertised for the match and they all came out after 25 with my predictions of the of the, of the pay-per-view I only technically got one prediction wrong, and that was the Royal Rumble match. Because initially I picked either The Undertaker, Finn Balor, or Samoa Joe to win the Rumble. And yet, only one of those people were actually in the match. So, I kind of lost on that. But everything else I actually predicted fairly, fairly accurate. New Tag Champs for Raw. The club beat uh, Cesaro and Sheamus. New Cruiserweight title, or new Cruiserweight champion, Neville. Charlotte Flair return, uh, retained her women's championship. John Cena is a 16-time world champion. Yay. For the Royal Rumble, we had Randy Orton win the Rumble. I honestly don't know why, but it happened. Because we really want to see Orton versus Cena for the, you know, 700,863rd time. We'll see if Cena will still be the champion after Elimination Chamber. And, um... Hopefully, maybe get a better main event. Maybe Orton versus Wyatt. That'd be cool. I was definitely excited for this match. I couldn't watch it live. I had to watch it the next day, and I was I was dying because I couldn't get on social media. I know that sounds bad, but I didn't get on Facebook. I didn't get on Twitter. I didn't get on Instagram. I didn't get on anything, you know, for nothing to be leaked for uh, me watching the pay-per-view live on Monday night. But overall, the Royal Rumble... The match, that was the disappointment of the night, and that's always, like, that's, like, the, the biggest match of the year, besides, you know, maybe second to Money in the Bank. The show before, it was a pretty good show. I mean, Styles and Cena put on a great match. Kevin Owens and Rain, uh, Rome, Roman Reigns match was very entertaining. Charlotte Flair and Bailey put on a decent match. Besides that, I mean, the Rumble really dragged it down, unfortunately. I'll be coming back to you again when uh, Elimination Chamber rolls around the corner in a couple weeks. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, and comment down below. Peace. I'm the